good morning another wonderful awesome terrific cold day it's friday yesterday i fell asleep i planned on vlogging a little bit more once the kid was went to sleep but y'all i was tired and i couldn't help it what are you doing anaya how are you doing Hi. Are you in the potty? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Anyways, so today, Mr. Wagner has <clears throat> some obligations to take care of. I need to go to Walmart or Target or something and get some nails or tags or whatever so I can hang up the rest of our Christmas decorations. <clears throat> And I also need to get some medicine because I feel like crap. Like my throat's itchy. Get that out of your mouth. Give me that. I uh, don't feel well at all. And you know how like whenever you're first catching the cold and you get that like itchy, itchy feeling in your throat like right there. <clears throat> I've been having that feeling. And I don't have any tea. don't have any lemons, peppermints, anything. So... I'm going to go stock up on that because this is the season to be jolly, but this also is the season to feel like crap because it's cold outside and the climate's changing and I have asthma and this is my trigger month. Mm. And I need to wash another here because I just have a feeling that she's going to get like catch a cold since everybody in the house has a cold except her and her dad i have a feeling that she might catch it so i'm gonna go ahead and wash her hair today hey guys so we have finally made it in the car let me tell you something about us so when we say okay we're going somewhere we usually take like 10 hours to leave the house so we are we've got to go run and go print something then dresden's got to go to his interview and i'm really wanting some subway i don't know why i've been craving subway but i really want some subway buddy can you say hi Hi, buddy. <laughs> and Anaya's is back there sleep thank god because she needs to go to sleep and dressing just went upstairs to go get his wallet come on she's not asleep hi <laughs> oh man ah. hi you didn't see it? Nope. You didn't see your wallet? Nope. Is it on the floor? Is it on the ground outside? Damn, is it? Look and see. Oh, man. It's not on the side of his seat or anything. I don't want to stole them the car because it's so junky. We're backtracking, y'all. Did we look under the car? It's not under the car. I'll be back. Okay. She's backtracking, y'all. You know what's crazy? I had just lost my wallet. And I was freaking out because I always keep my wallet on me. And I was like, well, where the heck did my wallet go? That's weird. And he had had his wallet while I was looking for my wallet. And as soon as I found my wallet, he lost his wallet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mr. Handsome over here is about to go in for his interview. I dressed him, y'all. I dressed him. That's what happens when when you lie. <laughs> That's what happens when you lie. Anyways, he's about to go in there, so y'all wish him, tell him to break a leg. Okay. I don't want to break no legs. You want to break no legs? tell you guys what happened really quick let me hold on let me turn let me turn my car off and crack my windows for this because this is a long story and I gotta tell y'all okay so I went to Subway dropped dressing off for his interview and I went to Subway I said okay we're gonna eat inside we're not gonna eat in the car we're gonna have lunch time together we're gonna eat inside and we're gonna you know do all that me Isaiah and Anaya okay I go in there and I get a foot long. I always get the foot long Italian BMT on Italian herbs and cheese bread. It's really good. And I got Isaiah the same thing as me, basically. So 
Isaiah's eating and he didn't like it. He normally eats all of his food. He didn't like it. So I was like, okay, well, you know, toddlers are picky. They're picky eaters. So then I started eating my sandwich and I was like, well, oh, this is, this bread is kind of off. Let me eat some more. Me, you know, it's my taste buds. Let me eat more. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating, and I, and I, and I eat most of my sandwich. Well, not most. I eat half of the foot long. And so, um, <clears throat> I was like, okay, this just isn't right. I'm going to take it back up there, get my money back, and then we're going to leave. So I took it back up there. I talked to the manager. I said, hey, you know, very nice in a very nice tone because I could have went uh, attitude kiki, okay? But I decided to keep it professional. I said, you know, excuse me, um, are you the manager? It's like, you know, this isn't right. You know, um, I don't think your bread is not fresh. I'm just saying I think that... <sighs> My, my, as from in my opinion, the bread doesn't taste like it normally tastes. The manager was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I apologize. Um, you know, we did the Subway did change our ingredients like two weeks ago, and I was like, and I understand that. I'm not saying that your bread isn't fresh. I just don't like the way it tastes today. Might be my taste buds. Might be something else. I don't know, but I'm not trying to give you a hard time." She asked me, did I want them to remake it? She asked me all that. I was like, no, because we got two different types of bread, my son and I, and neither one of us liked it. So if you could just give me a refund for the sandwiches, that would be great. Brought them my sandwich back up, everything. So she goes to get her supervisor because I paid with a debit card. Who pays in cash anymore? So she went to go get a debit card. And I mean, went to go get her man, her supervisor. So a supervisor comes up. Y'all, let me tell you, his name was Fernando. Um, He comes up and he goes, "Um, this is... Well, since you've eaten most of it, I said, wait, so you're telling me just because I ate some of my sandwich that I can't get a refund? He said, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm going to give you a refund. I said, then stop right there. Everything you being a supervisor, everything that you just said is ridiculous because if you feel like that since I ate most of my, well, half of my foot long and it's ridiculous that I bought it back up here, you save that for when I leave. You do not tell me as a customer that it's ridiculous that I ate most of it and why did I eat most of it since and I want a refund and I ate most of my sandwich. You stop right there, sir, because that's unprofessional. Okay, I have people in my family that have worked in retail. I have worked in retail. I know that the customer is supposed to come first. And sir, if I don't like my sandwich, I just don't like my sandwich. Furthermore, what is the person? I need the owner's, the owner's number because you're not going to sit here and talk to me any type of way. You're not going to do that. You're not going to tell me, oh, I'm going to give you your refund back, but you have to listen to, you have to listen to me bitch at you. No, we're not doing that. Okay, if I want a refund, I just want a refund. I didn't like the sandwich. And for future reference, don't ever sit up here and tell another customer, oh, just because you ate most of your foot long, you had to like it. You must just want your money back. No, because boo-boo, let me tell you something about Miss Kiera. If I don't like something, I don't like it. If I'm paying my money for it, then I want my money back. So, y'all, I wish I could have recorded it because it was so ridiculous, but... Oh, it was. I just had to let y'all know because I am livid. I called the owner. I let the owner know how unprofessional he was. I got my money back. High five. I got my money back. And I also will not be going to that subway again because that was absolutely ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And <clears throat> I just never seen. If you work in retail, fast food, any of that, don't. I always remember the customer comes first unless the customer is saying outrageous. If a customer don't like something, they just don't like it. Okay, now I'm done venting. Somebody is hungry. Hungry girl. Well, you guys, just got the email I wanted. Woohoo! Congratulations. Yay, me. Yay. I've never worked for home, from home, so this is going to be new for me. I'm super excited. Oh. God is good. God is good. You want to listen to music? Do you want to listen to music? Do you want to listen to music? Hey. Hello, hello. Hey, ho. I think this is their first time seeing you. Yeah, I think so. No, they saw you when we was talking about the book a few years ago. Remember? Yeah. I might remember. Your hair poking up in the back. You look like a uh, peacock. Mmm, <laughs> Starbucks. What'd you get? I got uh, the peppermint thing. That peppermint, um, frap. Peppermint. You gotta taste it. No. 
I'm about to taste it. Here we go, live taste test. How is it? How is it? Not as good as my uh, my uh, salted caramel one that they stopped doing. Oh, they stopped it completely? No, I'm, they stopped putting the salt on it. Oh. It ain't good, it ain't, it ain't good with the salt. You need mm. to bring that back. Mm, yeah. Love you. I love you too. You're a real vlogger if you can vlog in public. Y'all, they in Walmart jamming. But he said, I was dancing, he said I look like a fool. Is that true? You think I look like a fool? No. Cause I'll start doing it again. Well, they just took it off that song. You know that song, uh, Only Girl in the World? That's what they was playing. <laughs> Oh man, the aqua looks, the aqua looks. You better get over it. The aqua looks. That's all you're gonna get when you're a vlogger. Aqua looks, aqua looks. You can't even see what you're shooting. Yes, I can. I can. What you mean I can't see? We going to check out? Yeah. That's where we always go. Why are you cutting corners like that? Why are you cutting corners like that? <laughs> Hey girl, say cheese. Well, you guys, we have finally made it home. I am exhausted. And it has been a eventful day. Oh, if you haven't already, thumbs up this video. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it harder than you've ever hit anything else on YouTube. Okay, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you click my face for wednesday's video and um leave me something positive in the comments i love you guys and i will see you guys on monday bye